I always had dreams since I was five years. Strange visions. And I was really scared about this. I didn't want to go to Tibet. So I asked my father. He's not answering. My father is a famous Tibetan master known by a lot of people. He had to escape from Tibet, so he feels this responsibility. It's like a mission. He knows that the Tibetan culture has a great value. The problem is that I don't know this, or maybe I didn't know this, and I didn't care about this 20 years ago. As long as I remember, my father was always traveling to teach Dzogchen, the highest path in Tibetan Buddhism. Many were expecting him to be a monk and teach in a formal way, but not my father. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand up. Rinpoche is arrived. Many people today, they have a very uh, idea, passive idea. They think, oh, I go to a teacher. There is a wonderful teacher, powerful teacher. I go in front of this teacher and uh, stay there, and then I receive transmission. And then they say, oh, I feel a very strong vibration from this teacher. I receive something. <laughs> the Westerners speak always vibration. Vibration sometimes is useful, but not main thing. Principle in the Dzogchen teaching, which we ask is, you open your eyes. You open your senses, you observe, you discover your condition, your limitations. Why? Because that way you can discover how is real your condition. Let go. I see my father once each year, maybe, no? For three or four days. We talk about something very general. Aggiungi a te. We don't have a real emotional relation, me and my father. At least my sister, my mother, they have, but I don't have really. We are quite far away. 
My father don't understand the concept of uh, being father and son. He always um, treat me like uh, the son of a master, not the, a father or son of any Italian family.